Welcome back. It's Hop Smell Show. It's hot. Larry Love. String. We're going to do um, album review. We haven't done one of these for a while. We're going to do... a minute. In how long? A minute. A minute. A minute. It's been it's a minute. Probably been two minutes. It might be. Um, we had a request. Wait. I should have wrote down who did <clears throat> the request. I can't remember now. But oh. for Jason Newstead's, I guess his EP is just called Metal. I'm pretty sure that's... Um. Yeah. Heavy metal music is a full length album, but I yeah. think the EP is called Metal. And yeah. But we I decided it was an EP, four tracks. For, yeah, it'd be quick and easy. And yeah, and kind of gets warmed wouldn't up. Bore everybody too much. Right. Yeah. And I mean, comments, this came out what seven years ago? I think is what it was. <laughs> it's been a minute. 2012. It's been a minute. <laughs> 2012 is what I got to do. Eight years now. <clears throat> and we decided if this goes over good, and we get more requests for album requests. We'll do this when we've done these before, and some of them do really good. They've been doing good lately. The ones we do mm -hmm. later in our taping, they've done pretty decent. It's been verified. It is because it's called Metal. All right. Metal. And it's 2012? Uh, That's why I got wrote down here. Uh, no, 13. All right. January 8th, 2013. Maybe, maybe I got that it was formed, 2000. In December, they, yeah, they, they got together in December and announced that they have a band called Newstead, but it didn't come out until, actually it was pretty quick because they formed in December 2012 and the EP came out in 2013, January. So, <clears> like, like not even, what, two months? I don't so even know if it was two months. You reckon, I figure everybody knows who Jason Newstead is. I'd hope. We did, should, name. Should, should know who he is. We did a review on Soldier Head. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all a little history about Jason Newstead's career. 1986, the album Doomsday for Deceiver by Flotsam and Jetson. The way I understand, Jason wrote majority of the lyrics. I don't know, you one of y'all know much about that album? I, I have that, that album, but, and I think I just bought it because I knew he was on it, and that was early on, and then I got into a little bit of Flotsam later on after he was well on with Metallica at that point, so I don't know the much of the history Newstead era Flotsam. Yeah, that's the way for me. All right, so then the big move is Metallica, 86 to 2001. <clears throat> and everybody knows. Yeah. Now everybody knows who Jason Newstead is. If you didn't know who he was, you, yeah. now you Metallica. definitely know who he is. Yes. And in 2003, he joined Ozzy at OzFest. Super excited about that. I was so excited when he was with Zach. Mm -hmm. and heard they was going to write music. <clears throat> you know, they was going to write the next Ozzy album. I was super stoked. I thought that was going to be freaking awesome. Zach Wilde and Jason Newstead mm -hmm. write music together. Our house. But I guess the way that all went down was, I understand, the way I always took it was, Metallica took Robert from Ozzy, so Sharon said, I'll just take Jason Newstead from, you know, I'll just go ahead and put him in that spot. You take mine, I'll take yours. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> We know how Sharon is. Yeah. And I, I know we went to OzFest. We saw Jason mm -hmm. with Ozzy. I guess it was guess it was 2003. But there was, I don't think they ever did an album the way I understood that. And then I've got, he went to Voivod after that, mm -hmm. which is question mark. I don't really know a whole lot. I never got, I mean, I knew there. the band. I've you know, heard the name many a time, but I, I just never had exposure to them to hear their any of their stuff so and they'd been around I, for a long time too. i think after jason had joined them they released the song i don't remember what the video was but I, it seemed like they released the song off that album and i remember he was in it but i couldn't tell you much about it i just never heard much of that band i just so then we go on to i don't know if anybody remembers this i actually watched this this rock star supernova it was a reality show on nbc mm -hmm. where they did it was him and Gilby Clark and Tommy Lee. Yeah, see, I don't remember that one. And they were looking for, they, <clears throat> they'd done all them, they were looking for a lead singer to record now. And it was kind of, do y'all remember what's, what inspired this or where this come from was the year before that NBC or CBS, one of them, had, were looking for a lead singer for an excess. Mm. Right. And they'd done that reality show. <clears throat> yeah. Well, this was the next season. Next season. Mm. It was a supernova. Gotcha. And I remember there was this, man, there was this, Boy from Australia, I can't remember the song he he had brought, but it was freaking awesome. Hmm. 
but that was like really he was that was his highlight of that whole reality it was like once that hit it was like he could never live up to that that wow. performance and then <clears throat> 2009 everybody knows Metallica got inducted the Hall of Fame so Jason made it to the Hall of Fame and then 2012 is where we are now with Newstead mm-hmm. um, we figured Love did uh, he did uh, Chinese Democracy the Guns and Roses one. review and me and String thought that was pretty decent so we're going to let you start this one off alright I well. guess with the soldier heads all yours alright so here we go uh, since it was the first song uh, I like the intro it was a good beginning uh, good solid uh, the drums and the guitar lick uh, it had a very metallic feel um Cool bass licks, hard driving, uh, the jam into the guitar lick to finish it. Yeah, it was it was really, and I like the the sun grows cold. I like that line for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's what my for the intro. That was what I put down. That's kind of with me. <clears throat> I like the the bass lead right before the breakdown. Oh, that was pretty that's, cool. That's awesome. Um, I thought it was a very good opener track. Yeah, very um, solid. But when it came down to it, um, I thought it was my least favorite on the whole album. It was, it was still good. I'm not right. down in it by any means, but out of the four tracks, it I ended up being... So, uh, there's a song, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if, I think we're all on that one side. But if y'all are favorite. like me, when you first <clears throat> throw it in, oh yeah, that one grabs you from oh, yeah. the back. Yeah. I mean, it's the it's perfect the intro. Opening. It's yeah. a perfect intro. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought it was like a really good... like. Holy shit! Yeah. Like this mm-hmm. is if this solid is, power. Yeah, just, like and it and it just kept building from mm-hmm. there. And you could hear Motorhead all <clears> over that. That's what I. Yep. I, when I, I think I wrote that down the second time after I listened. Yep, right there, Motorhead. <laughs> I mean, it had a Motorhead feel, but yeah. you know, once you got settled into the album, your <clears> outlook kind of changed. But it's yeah. you couldn't have picked a better opening track. Yeah. I don't think uh, it was a great opener. The one thing I didn't like about it. I thought the solo was way too short. It was yeah. like a... And that was done. But you're right, the bridge to the solo, <clears throat> that breakdown, that was freaking awesome. I mean, that's what I'd had, you know, the breakdown was awesome. And also, I know you had the lyrics, is this about a soldier fighting? That's kind of the way I got, uh, basically, he was born into, like, that's what he was born, bred to, to fight, to go into battle, and, and that's kind of how I took the... That's kind of how yeah. I took it, too. You know, in the comments sections, we might be completely left field. <clears throat> but, yeah, I pretty much got that. I got straight ahead rocker, motorhead feel, and then the breakdown. So that was so track, one. track one. Track one. Way to enter strong. Uh, track two, uh, God Snake. Uh, I like the jajunk, jajunk, jajunk riff again with the devil, but I like the lyrics. Again, oh, it was again with the devil. Both songs, mm-hmm. he, the devil, the devil. Uh, it was catchy, solid power, uh, heavy pounding, drums, uh, no time for apology. I liked, I liked that line. Uh, and that was pretty much what I wrote for the, my first, first initial listen. My first initial listen on it. <clears throat> I was uh, kind of the same way, the cool groove that it had, that right. just chunky, um, definitely liked the solo better on that one. Um, I thought it was very fitting for the song and how it was laid out. Um, I loved Jason's vocals on that song. Um, and I wrote, I wrote something and I didn't finish my sentence, so I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently I got sidetracked with family, I guess, at home. But uh, I really enjoyed his vocals on that one. And I, and I just, I, I like that chunky yeah, junk, junk, junk. I think we can all. That's what I got. Slow and drudgy, and I, I like, I like these vocals on all the tracks. Mm-hmm. So I just, I, after we started doing reviews on Metallica, and seeing how strong his backups were, I was kind of mm-hmm. excited to go back and revisit this again because it had a whole new <clears> meaning. <throat> because before, you know, I just listened to it. I knew it was decent, but then after you see that Jason, how big of a part he was on Metallica's backups. He was a huge part of Metallica. Mm-hmm. Oh, they yeah. abused him so much, oh, man. Yeah. 
Are we ready to go to the next one? Well, I, I don't what? even what, – what's the song about? I never did figure out anybody knows. I, I don't know unless I rewrote back here when we come to my conclusions. Oh, you got conclusions. You got more than me. <laughs> That's why I got the second page. <laughs> but I didn't have – Yeah, I, I didn't really quite I, understand – that's me, comment section. Maybe somebody yeah. can explain what God <clears throat> says about. I'm pretty horrible about it was the devil. <laughs> getting some of the the undertones and then reading through it. And yeah, I didn't go that in forte. depth. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go that in depth with it. Uh, so, King of the Underdog. Rocks. I knew that was your favorite one. Yeah. Uh, I like the clever vocals uh, to the heavy growl, the intro that changed was cool it was crunchy the stop with the snare that little snare mm -hmm. lick that was in it uh his vocal sounded like someone <clears throat> like uh, jason like jason <laughs> uh, that guy that sang from metallica yeah that guy that played played bass in metallica i, bet sounds sounds like like him. Him. I like the speeding up the dun 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 see this one had the dun dun not the yeah. junk <laughs> uh, uh it was a cool solo uh from the Actually, from the I guess from the guitar too. I uh, had a little spooky there at the end with that laughter, you know, like it had that like 1950s horror yeah. movie. That's kind of what I was imaging at the end of it with that where the the song ends and then I'm going into like the laughter. And that was uh, what I pretty much wrote for the King of the Underdog. All right, so. I guess oh, well, I was just no, waiting on no, it. I was going to let you roll with it. Um, I love the intro because the way it led into that, I put badass groove, uh, the bass and <laughs> guitar. Um, I just love the, that, that way it, it just kind of led into it. And I thought Jason's vocals were a lot more melodic on that song. Uh, he did have a little growls to it, but um, I just thought his, he, you could, it really showed his vocal range and what yeah. he could do compared to the other songs. Like, it, it, he didn't pigeonhole himself to a certain type of style of singing the whole way. Right. He, he actually, you know, changed it up a little bit. Changed it up and, and gave and, different you know, sounds for the different yeah. songs. <clears throat> um, which, you know, like I said, I thought it showed uh, a lot more of his talent uh, vocally. And this was definitely my favorite track on the whole album. So this was due to, uh, I think it was my, I, I, I I like the God Snake song, man. Yeah. And I like that song after it, because you know, listening to it first try through it, you know, I'm like, Soldier Head's good. I get the God Snake, and I'm like, I like this song better. And now you get to the Kings of the Underdog, and I'm like, Holy shit! Like, it yeah, just it just kept going, better. and it kept going. Yeah. It was a very solid EP. The yeah. four songs that were chosen <clears throat> was very solid. And I'll leave it at that for now. And I like that we both like the intro. That, yeah. that's pretty yeah. cool. So, what what are you thinking on this one? I put. You know, uh, of course, I said it was my favorite. The flow of the song was freaking unreal. Yeah. I mean, the, all the changes it had, mm -hmm. just it was like a ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, unless that song was like a, a ride, a metal ride. And like I said, I like that little ending with the, the whole 50s spooky. And then, see, I was drinking when I'd done this, so I said, <laughs> love the flow of the song. This song kicks ass. Love the changes. <laughs> Go! And then, see, then here again, I got my favorite, favorite song, song on the EP. EP. Yeah, he wanted to restate that. <laughs> we must have been three or four beers in there. But, yeah, I, I think that's that song really stick, stuck out. It was like Man, Soldier Heads was, was my favorite till about third listen. And then I started, no, I really didn't even, gravitated I didn't even towards make it. this. I, first listen. First listen was where you were at. And then went to God Snake, and then went to King of the Underdog. And then even the second listen, I was like, you know, and I got done because uh, I went through and I put the headphones on because I listened to it first play through it in the car. And a lot of times I'm driving. Right, I got other shit distracted. On my mind, just, you know, I, I veer off and I, I, I kind of unintentionally kind of fade away from the music. But and I'm sure a lot of people do that. But I guess while uh, you're driving, there should be other things. Well, I mean, you can, I mean, some people really oh, still yeah. listen to it and sing along and all that but kind of stuff. But when he started texting, that's when <clears> That's right. That's when it's bad. Yeah. You're texting and driving. Yeah, and listen to music. But uh, so anyway, so I listened to it, you know, the other night. I went through it again, and, and that's when I started writing my notes down. And I'm like, damn, this song is still kick ass. Yeah. And then so when I got done, I'm like, all right, I got my homework done, you know. I'm, and I told my wife, she was sitting over there, and I was like, here, I want you to listen to this song. I didn't tell her who it was. I just said, here, listen to it. So I played it, and she was like, eh, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. And I'm like, okay. Um, 
<laughs> I'm stoked on this. She, she didn't really ask me who it was. I said, well, that was Jason of, you know, Metallica. And she was like, oh. So she didn't act like she was real impressed with it. Like, <laughs> I was like, well, I thought it was badass. I like that song. So the last one on the EP <clears throat> is Skyscraper. Uh, rocky intro. Uh, had like that country blues, southern, rocky bar, like heading into the bar kind of feel. Uh, or that's how I kind of, you know, uh, it just kind of had that kind of heading into a bar. Good old boy bar. Uh, no war is God, no war is holy. I like that, I like that lyric. That was a really cool lyric. Uh, I heard a little James, kind of the way his vocals he sounded a little bit like James there. Uh, Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, he did have a chaha. Chaha. He did have a chaha. You wrote chaha. I did write chaha, <laughs> so there must have been a chaha. If y'all are wondering how that's spelled, it's C H A H A H. Chaha. Chaha. <laughs> uh, the back to the course, uh, the no war. I like. I just like that. No war is good. No war is holy. A uh, good album, the EP for metal lovers. Oh, I guess we can do that. That's my in closings. <laughs> so we'll just. From y'all, what, what did you think of? It just had that rocky. You go ahead and on this one. I'll let you, and then I'll throw it. All right. So, for me, skyscraper song, true rocker, just like every, just like the other three songs. Love the riff, but it was probably my least favorite on the EP. But it's still Jason's voice was strong as hell in that. Yeah. Song. My least favorite on the on the album or the EP. Um, I like the guitar intro, how groovy it was. I wrote groovy a lot, I think, on them, don't through here. Like, everything it had a good groove. groove. Um, but it was missing something. A solo. It didn't have a solo. It didn't have a solo in it. All the other ones had solos, whether it be short. This one and didn't I have one. I never did even notice it. I never even um, noticed either. It was a good song, but I thought it was stretched out too long at the very end of it. I thought they could have done away with it. It just kept... It was a oh, that too was, repetitive. I, I wrote that down for them, <clears throat> like, but you know, you look at Metallic. I mean, hell, they wrote. Oh, all bands do that. Yeah. I mean, and, and if I, I, yeah, and, and there's a lot of them I don't like because of that. Uh, not just this song in particular. I didn't. I thought the song was great. Um, I just wish they would have shortened it at the end. There's a lot of songs that are like that on by different bands, and I, you know, it's just it's like a, you keep repeating the same thing over and over. I'm like, it's all right. I, when you stretch it out to two or three minutes. And it stretches the song out to nine minutes or something like that. I think this song was Heroin like six has minutes. something to do with that. Well, <laughs> I might have that. Uh, but I think I think a lot of the songs were all around five to six minute yeah, mark on here. I think the EP is like <clears throat> twenty minutes. Yeah, and and that song I think was maybe one of the longest ones on there, but only about a little bit compared well, to some of the other ones. Well, I think the twenty minutes. I'm not even sure if it's even that long. Maybe it's like fourteen. I, think it was, I thought it was like twenty two minutes or twenty. Yeah, it sounds like twenty two or something. Yeah, but, but still, it, I thought they could have shortened it at least took off like a minute and a half air at the end and it would have been still an equal league as good song so that was my two cents alright so <clears throat> Love's probably he's good um, we're gonna let him summarize it but I guess I'm gonna summarize my opinion of the album was Love had made a comment and if you're a metalhead this you will love this album mm -hmm. this is this this album defines metal you know in my when he said when Love said that to me that day at house he said that to find, I don't know if he remembers telling me I that. I do, I remember that. It's um, only been a couple of days, so I mean, but about a I mean, I do, I did think that. As soon as he said that, I'm like, that's as I could write. When you, when I, when you think of metal, if you like metal, this album, definitely purchase this All album. the criterias. Yeah. <clears throat> it does. And, well, and, and I guess the, the actual CD that, I mean, this was the EP that right. came out early, yeah. and then it was probably because he wanted to just throw something out there and it ended up, they probably meshed so well together, they're like, Fuck, let's go ahead and write a out. bunch of more stuff. And I haven't, I mean, I, I remember when he started this, I kind of remember, I think it was probably Soldier Head. I don't know if that was the very first track that, that they ended up releasing. All that was that. the first song I'd ever heard. And it seems it. like, yeah, yeah, and it seems like I remember seeing that song and listening to it, and I didn't remember much about it, but, and it wasn't like it was, that I thought it was shitty and I just forgot all about it, but it was just one of those things, you know, Back then, you had all kinds of stuff coming out, and a different time, different, you know, way of life back then. But it just didn't hit me 
strong enough that, oh, I mean, I need to go out and buy it. So I didn't really hear much about it. And then when you mentioned it at work, you know, we was talking about doing this. And we did, well, we ended up doing that song, um, the yeah, reaction for the video. And, um, and I was like, damn, this is pretty good. And so when you started talking about going and listening to the thing again and doing a review on that, I was like, you know, I was down for that because I liked what I heard and, and I wanted to get re-exposed to it. And it's probably going to end up going and buying the album, the whole album. Yeah, I just I, so I, I can that's hear why the rest of it. You know, but when I first, and I'm not <clears throat> throwing you behind, we're going to let you wrap it up. Oh. But he was, y'all was talking about Soldier Head, and this got me thinking. When I first heard Soldier Head, it was. You know how we talked about a good opening song? It was enough that I went out and bought the EP mm -hmm. just on that song alone. I'm like, God, this song kicks ass. It's an EP. It's worth buying just for this song. And then you get, you're like, well, damn, you know, this is probably better than this. You got me teased. Yeah, this is better than in. this. You know, mm -hmm. so I think Jason did a good job. I mean, I think Jason. I, I think. Uh, it got, this album got overlooked, I think. I mean, people <clears throat> talked about it, but I think it. I don't know. Let me see if I can read through here real quick. I don't know if he. It doesn't really say here. I don't know if he wrote everything and then had guys come in to record it, or whether everybody kind of had input on the song. Um, I thought the musicianship was really good throughout all the songs. I didn't, you know, and it wasn't like, hey, this is my album. I'm going to have yeah. bass forward. Everything was mixed very yeah, well together. It was together. mixed really well. And, it was mixed and, really well. And, it, and, you know, he wasn't trying to be the forefront of the band. He, everybody got their part, and I thought it was well done. Yeah. So, I'll give you my wrap it up, love? <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Finally. <laughs> so, uh, I wrote a good album slash EP for uh, metal lovers. I uh, really liked the intro. It had that motorhead. Uh, it comes in solid. Uh, pretty good, straightforward. You could tell it had that Metallica feeling. Uh, the second time around, uh, when I heard the 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 Motorhead or the Soldierhead song, I could hear like the hit the lights, little Motorhead, a little hint of like rain and blood, even like with the dun 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 dun, dun with the drumming. Mm -hmm. Uh, the vocals the second time around, I was maybe hell yeah, but I can't remember that. I don't think it was hell yeah, but his vocals did have like a. It reminded me of somebody. He's definitely got that growly, little gravelly kind of sound yeah. to his vocals. And then I, I, the shake, rattle, dance all night, really, like, uh, that's I, that song. <laughs> it was a little long, but still catchy. Uh, the King of the Underground, the grind the stone, like, along like a spooky feeling. Like, I like that grind the stone on it, that, the lyric to that. Uh, the wa wa na wa na riff <laughs> is cool in Skyscraper, so the wa na na riff. Uh, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was new, like, at first, but with an old feeling. And then I asked him when it came out, because I looked on the thing, and I saw that, you know, it was like 12 years since the video had been out. And I was like, okay, so at least the time period for when this album came out was the sound of that time period. Mm -hmm. Because at first, I kind of was like, I thought it was dated a little bit I don't, I don't know but that then I when know. I listen back you know for 12 years ago that was pretty much what well, it sounded not even 12 years ago it's only like eight years ago either but way 2020 just I been a long year yeah it, has. Has been a it just year. seems like it's four or five years within yeah. this year I don't I don't know that I I felt that it was a dated even first listen I don't know that I got that kind of feeling to it but no, I, did, I didn't either, but... I had that feeling like it was from that time period, from like the 2012s or the, you know, right after the Metallica because yeah. it still had like a little <clears throat> bit of a Metallica feel. And, uh, but like I was saying, the song sometimes felt a little long, but again, you know, I can listen to Jerry doing, you know, Morning yeah. Dew for 30 minutes, so... Yeah. <laughs> or Eyes of the like, World, even better. Next track. <laughs> Yeah, not for eyes of the world. It'd be a jack. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and overall, I mean, like I said, solid album. I liked it. I went through it two times straight, and then I periodically listened to like one or two of the songs again. I, I wanted a, a refresh before we did this, but just things are things, and I just didn't get around Life to it. Life happens. Yeah. I didn't dread listening to it not at all no. not at all because you know, you know, i wanted to give you know i wanted to give everybody out there my, a good honest 
opinion of what, you know, you know opinions and, are our opinions. And, so. Yeah, and I act like I really knew what I was talking about. All right. Well, even yeah. going into it when you mentioned it, you know, I I never got, I mean, because we'd already done the soldier head, and, and so we were we kinda, already familiar with how it was going to sound. And there was nothing wrong with that track where I was like, you know what, I don't know, sure I want to do this. Yeah. Right. It was like, Sure, let's do it. Pretty damn good, you know. I'll, yeah, we'll, when you brought up the idea, we were just like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. I mean, great. we figured this be the perfect album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it would be. And like I said, you got this track four, which is my least favorite on the track, but I still listen to it. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't like because I could have just not, ended it right there. It's not a shitty song. It's no. just my it's, least favorite. Yeah, when you got to pick, your it had a voice. different sound than the other three. Too. <clears throat> it did. Well, I'll, I mean. All, All of them had, had a different sound. Yeah. But. If I was doing a Jason, of course, I haven't really studied the new album, but if I was doing a Jason, Jason Newstead playlist, these all four would make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, with whatever new compared, Newstead yeah, is compared, out. Yeah, compared, I mean, and that's just saying, we don't know how <clears throat> strong. I know Let us know of, some of the news of his. Like, Well, Jerry's been requesting as, as a crow flies, I think, or something. And, well, we'll have to do that one. Then. And maybe we'll do that one next. But you know the two that we I I would be down with doing Kings of the Underdog reaction right even though we've already heard it we haven't seen the video yet I, I watched it the other night oh, <laughs> oh cheater 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 I'm the only honest man <laughs> sitting at the table <clears throat> so well, our, well, wait a minute what was the one you said he I'll, I'll, as the crow flies as yeah, the crow flies. As flies so if y'all thought this was a good idea and enjoyed this if there's any other albums. But you get a full-length album, shows liable to get lengthier. Yeah, because we're almost at 30 you, now, so. You know, or if you got an idea, maybe we just pick a couple songs, like our favorite songs on the oh, album. album. Well, the whole album, I'm looking at it here for the track listing, and it's got 11 tracks, and then there's a deluxe edition bonus tracks, and it's got Spider Biter, God Snake, and Skyscraper. So th- two of those are from, are from the EP. But, uh, so the other two songs, King of the Underdogs and Soldier Head, are actually on the album. And then there's that song, Spider Does Biter. Soldier Head actually start that album no, off, too? No, it does not. It's the second track. All right. Wow, you <clears> thought <throat> that would have been the first. Look, I want to listen to the heroic. Yeah, I wonder what the opening song is. Well, yeah, since it's heroic, I bet it might just be an intro. No, it's five minutes long. I It'd be be hell. Be <laughs> Again, you know, it could be, but yeah. So I guess if you comment section, you know, what was your favorite song on the EP? Yeah. Knock it out. What did you think of the EP? Do you think Jason did a good job? I think Jason, I give Jason two thumbs oh, up. Man. Yeah, I did too, man. I mean, he did a good For job. For sure. And two like, horns. subscribe. How about that? Yeah, two, two metal horns. horns. Two metal horns. And like I said, if you're a metalhead, you need to check it out, yeah. guys. I think you'll be very happy. Y'all want to wrap this one up? Wrap it up. Roll it up, man. We'll let him wrap it up again. Yeah, wrap it again, (laughs) man. Wrap. We're going to get get some Make it less sensitive. Everybody stay safe. Stay strong. Peace, y'all. Until next time. Peace.